I was just, um, there's a word that seems to rever reverberate in the spirit these last few weeks, and I feel the Lord really wants to set a, a moment, a momentum, and a, on a, a phase for this body. I feel like the Lord wants to work in such a way where raw truth. So the, the words kept coming were the raw, real, and organic. And um, I felt like the Lord really wants you to step into the real deal. He wants the real deal on earth. He wants the raw truth, and He wants you to be organic. So I looked up the words to get a better understanding what He's trying to say. And He's raw is uncooked. It's not... Um, it's not gone undergone process it's not diluted and i was like wait not going through a process not undergone not it's uncooked but i thought we're supposed to go through a process and the lord was i looked up organic and organic is is an organization an organizing of elements that it mimics and and, and analyzes of living pro, uh, living um, organism and I'm like okay you need to really help me here Lord because we're always saying that the Lord is taking us through a process but what the Lord was showing me that the world puts us through a, a place where we're overcooked we're overly processed we're overdone we're constantly being rehashed and even in the religious community the religious mindset we think that we have to do so much, we have to be so much, we have to work this and do that and study and pray, and we're like working so much. But what the Lord is saying is the process that he's taking us through is an unprocess. It's the process of unprocess. He's, God is real, he's fresh, he's, he's pure, he's holy. But the world kind of rehashes our process and our perspective to the degree where we think we have to do so much and be so much. But God has put us through a process to undo what the world is because he's raw. He's real. This world goes through such an ordeal. They're hurting. Have you, okay, have you ever eaten cooked food all the time? Just processed food? overcooked food doesn't it get tiring after a while and all of a sudden your body's craving for just something fresh you suddenly feel like oh i gotta have a salad let me just have a piece of fruit that's what this world is going through and the lord wants you to be that freshness that pureness the raw truth everything you say everything you do is an element of christ automatically by nature and when the world puts a people through a process they're coming to a place of dryness and death the elements of of good things are gone the nutritional value of over processed food is gone the vitamins are gone but god wants you to be that raw fresh healing that raw nutrition the real elements that brings life and so the Lord, as he was, he expanded, he expanded to me um, while we were sitting here, he was saying to me that when you, this is family, so we all receive the Holy Spirit, right? Okay, when the Lord baptizes you into life, because the Holy Spirit is life, you're like a tree that's been planted by the water of, of the river of life, okay? What the Lord wants you to recognize is if he's planted you and you're a tree of life, you're a tree of life. That's right. <laughs> you don't kick a lemon tree and say, lemon tree, produce lemon, right? You don't kick a dog and say, bark dog. They do what they naturally are. <laughs> and if the Lord has established you as a tree of life, the fruit that naturally comes out of you our joy, victory, peace, love, 
right? It's going to automatically produce because who's in control? If he's planted you, he's going to put you through a process to bring out the raw, the real, and the organic message of Christ so that you can be a healing oasis as well. We're we're in an organic unity as a body, but you're also organic individually. And wherever you go, there's an element of Christ that naturally comes forth. It's not over process. God is putting you through a process to unprocess you, to take away the worldly contamination, this, this thought that you've got to do so much. Just be. Let God let you be who He's created you to be. That was the one thing the Lord, I feel like the Lord just wants to make it simple. I think, I feel like the Lord just wants you to be the real thing. And, and if you don't know who you are, to say, Lord, who did you make me to be? Because you're not supposed to look like the person next to you. So who is it that God made you to be? Then be that. And what is your life um, journey supposed to look like? Do that. Because when we come together, we're going to be that bigger message of Christ that the world is desiring for. We're, I feel like the world is at a phase where it's really hungry. It's really hungry. This processed lifestyle is not giving them what they need. And that's the reason why they're always changing. You notice people in the world are always going through a relationship, a relationship, a relationship, a job, a job, a job. The whole system is about new, new, trying to give you new every so many years. Like, I just got a car that was leased. You know, they want to encourage you to lease a new car in two to three years, but I just bought this car, and they're already talking about leasing. Because they know that it doesn't last long, but we have an everlasting life. You know what I'm saying? It endures. So I just feel the Lord really wants you to let Him put you through the process of the undoing. Let you come to a place of being the real deal and the raw truth. Let him produce in you that organic message of Christ. Yes. Whether we're together, whether we're individually. And I also learned from the Lord recently that the anointing's gonna do what the anointing's gonna do. Yes. You don't have to try to work up a message. Yes. You come into a situation. You know what I've learned? I've learned that Whatever the, a person is going through, because they're in the world and they're eating all that processed, overcooked lifestyle, they're going to come to a place where they're going to hunger. And you can be that freshness. You can be that, 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 um, that pure, fresh, new thing that they're hungry for automatically. I just learned that recently in, in my neighbor's son. He had committed suicide. And this poor mother has just been like going through, going through, going through, finding this, doing this, trying to find this lifestyle. And I'm not a person who just goes and evangelizes. I don't. I, just, I wish I could. I wish I could just go up and like, okay, here we go. We're going to kill this thing. I'm just always pulling back. I'm always like, oh, we're quiet. But the anointing does a work. And it brings you to a process where the Lord plants you right at the right time to give you that, that word or give you that Thing that the Holy Spirit is to them and they automatically are drawn to it and then from there you could say or do whatever the Lord is telling you but I feel like the Lord wants to encourage you it's he's in control he wants you to be the real deal you know just let the Lord wash that the worldly perspective of things so you can become that fresh message of Christ because everything you say everything you do should speak Christ if you look in the world, everything you look at is Christ. The trees are the tree of life of Christ. Every time you see a stream, excuse me, or a river, you're seeing a watering system of life. It nourishes, it produces, it feeds, it, you know what I'm saying? Rain is like a message of Christ, how the Lord rains down a freshness upon and feeds the land. That's who you are. That's who you are. You are all trees of life. You have produced fruits that is a healing to this world. And the Lord just wants you to just be you and let him make you you. And I, that's, I just feel like the Lord wants to take the simplicity back. Um, I think that is pretty much it. Yeah.